Welcome back to American Medicine Today. I'm alongside Dr. Craig Wolf from the Bonatti Spine Institute. Dr. Wolf, why don't you tell us about some of the people you're treating at the Bonatti Institute? The general person that comes to the Bonatti Institute suffers most likely from low back pain. By far, statistically, that's the most common person. Mm -hmm. And then after that would be neck problems or neck pain. Mm -hmm. And finally, much less, but they do come in, are people with mid-back pain, or otherwise we refer to it as thoracic pain. In the low back, the people that come to us tend to have, th uh, let's say, two types of conditions. Mm -hmm. The younger people will tend to have a herniated disc, mm -hmm. and elderly people um, will tend to have a condition called spinal stenosis. Yes. Now, in between those two would be the are my age people. Um, so let's say between 40 and 60, they sure. often have a combination of both things happening mm -hmm. at the same time. Right. So not only do they have what their doctor will tell them is bulging disc or herniated disc, but also on top of that, spinal stenosis is superimposed. And spinal stenosis is just meaning narrowing of the tube of nerves in the low back, for instance, what we're talking about right now, the low back. Is that almost like... Um now, forgive me, I'm going to say something. I'm not a doctor, but almost like an arthritis of the spinal canal because it keeps narrowing. It's exactly what it is. Okay. So, so if we could, um, because so many people suffer from spinal stenosis, I think it's important to just mention a few words of what causes it. Mm -hmm. So as we get older, as a normal process of aging, we lose water content in our disc. And our discs are 90% water. And that's what keeps them tall and somewhat mm -hmm. firm like a tire on your car that's full of air. Sure. As we get older, the natural degeneration of the disc causes the disc to start losing its water content, and then it starts to shrink or collapse inside. Mm. Now, the, the discs are the front part of the spine in front of the nerves, and in back of the nerves, we have joints. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned arthritis. The, yes. the degeneration of a joint is called arthritis. They're different kinds, but in the case we're talking of degenerative arthritis or osteoarthritis. So as the disc collapses, the joints are intimately linked to the disc. The joints, in a sense, collapse, and they don't line up. So imagine if I gave you a bow leg. Mm -hmm. You would wear out the inside of your knee more than the outside of your knee because you'd be putting more weight through the inside. Sure. Well, when the joints of your back start collapsing, they don't line up, and they form arthritis. Mm -hmm. Now, in osteoarthritis or degenerative arthritis, telltale things that occur with the arthritis are, number one, you lose the cartilage in a joint. And that's when the doctor might tell one of our patients, you have bone on bone. Right. There's supposed to be a space between the bones, cartilage, which is that white stuff you see on the ends of chicken bones. Right. <laughs> it's nice and smooth, mm -hmm. and it separates bones that have to move on each other. Then the, the bones start rubbing on each other because there's no cartilage, and the body's response to that is to form bone. Maybe the body's trying to fuse these joints. Right. So the joints grow in size, mm -hmm. and then they form bone spurs. As the joint grows and forms bone spurs, those tend to head from the back to the front, and in front of the joints are the nerves. So bone is strong and mean, mm -hmm. and it will just push into the nerves, which are soft and gentle, mm -hmm. and the bone wins every time. Once it narrows the, the space for the nerves mm -hmm. a certain degree, you'll get pain. Okay. And that pain will often start in the back because the joints are bad and they're in your back. Mm -hmm. But as it hits the nerve or narrows the space for the nerve, it'll start, and re we're referring to the low back, it'll start going down your leg, either the front, the side, or the back right. of the leg. With that pain, you may experience numbness and tingling. That's also an indication that a nerve is being uh, um, angered. Okay. And these are the first things that happen. Probably pain first, numbness and tingling second. Mm -hmm. As the condition continues to get worse, meaning the space for the nerve gets smaller and smaller, and it's been there longer and longer, you will get weakness. Now, why? Nerves are, what our nerves do in our body, one of the main things they do is they tell our muscles what to do. 
And if the nerve is pinched and doesn't send the electrical signals correctly to your muscle, the muscle will shrink in size. Just like if you hurt yourself and we put a cast on your arm. Right. Once we take that cast off in six weeks, your arm is half the size of the other arm. You say, yes. what, what happened to my arm? Mm -hmm. That's the muscle mass that you lose. So the weakness comes from a loss of muscle mass, probably number one. But number two, with the nerve sending, let's say, bad signals because mm -hmm. it's pinched and it, the electrical signal is now not good, the muscle does not act in a coordinated fashion. Mm -hmm. So people will often say that they don't feel like they're walking right. Or what do they often tell us? I, I think my balance is off. But mm -hmm. it's not their balance coming from their inner ear or their brain. It's because they're not getting a, a good electrical signal to the muscles. Is that when people have trouble sometimes with a drop foot or they can't manage the stairs? Because they feel like they're going to fall? Foot drop is when you can't raise your foot. So imagine um, when I say raise, the opposite of pushing down on the brake or the accelerator. Mm. When you have to pull your foot back up um, and you can't, that's what we call foot drop. The act of walking requires us subconsciously to every time we take a step, we have to pull our foot up. Otherwise, the toes catch the ground and we could potentially fall and hurt ourselves, especially as we get older and our bones are not as strong. And that then becomes a danger for people getting wrist fractures or hip fractures. So that generally occurs, the foot drop is the L5 nerve, and it usually occurs from a narrowing, or as we use the, science, the medical term stenosis, at the L4-5 level. And the vast majority of patients that come to the Bonatti Institute, it's because of L4-5, number one, and probably number two is L3-4. And then beyond that, the other key level in the low back is L5-S1, which is more of a problem for young people. And that would be the sciatica, like, oh, there's some butt pain, and then it travels down the back of the thigh. I, yeah, I think you're right. I think mo lay people think of sciatica as a pain that goes into your rear end and goes down the back of mm -hmm. your leg. And the reason is because it's called sciatica because the nerve roots come out of your back and they join up together in a big nerve in your rear end called the sciatic nerve, which then generally goes down the back of your leg and then splits in some wrap around towards the front right. as we get below the knee. Mm -hmm. And that's what sciatica um, is. But anyone, I, I if somebody calls me and says, I have pain down the side of my leg, I have no problem referring to that as sciatica. Dr. Wolf, if people let things like stenosis get out of hand and, and the spinal canal keeps narrowing and narrowing, eventually they'll end up in a wheelchair, correct? Um, if it's yeah, depending not on their age, right? right. Because this, these are slow processes. As I said, they mm -hmm. start in the disc and let's say they, it depends on what you do and yes. your genetics. So I, maybe genetics is the most important thing and what you do. So in Indiana, they work in, they build um, recreational vehicles. They're mm -hmm. skilled craftsmen. Yes. And that's hard, heavy lifting work. Mm -hmm. So they may wear out their discs in their late teens and early 20s. Mm -hmm. And then the stenosis starts. If stenosis starts in your 30s or 40s, what you said, you'll end up in a wheelchair is probably tr true, as opposed to if it starts in your 70s, because it probably takes 10 years or more for that to happen. Stenosis does not get better on its own. Correct. Bone does not disappear. Yes. It only continues to grow. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to explain the types of people that seek out the Bonatti Spine Institute and how the ailments affect those individuals. Thank you for watching American Medicine Today and check us out anytime, anywhere on our app. Search keyword AMT.